Hey guys, Vivi Chan here. Hope you guys are doing well. So today we are finally caught up to Mob Psycho and we're doing anime episodes 9 and 10. Let's just jump right into it. Wait, so were they childhood friends or is this a dream? Like, this is so wonderful and pleasant. Oh. Oh. Still thinking of Dimple. And then Tsubomi chan. It's like one after the other. I don't know the next part, but uh, yeah, continuing from the last time, uh, the dude, forgot his name, is a, uh, whatever, he got isekai well, not really isekai he got, like, taken away to, like, the motherland of the aliens, and, like, are we gonna continue that? I feel like it's gonna be a running joke, and uh, we won't continue? Oh, <laughs> it's coming! Anyways, Tome chan, at least she got to like finish the. It's not the school year's over, it's like their last uh, semester or something. And, uh, you know, she got to spend good memories with her friends. And, uh. One and only one. Yeah, let's see. Let's go! Mob one. Moving. Moving. <laughs> the New Year's. Homework? Mm, were they planning something? Oh, there. Yeah. She she can't change class or something. Wait, she's moving. Why? Moving. Man, in his mind, she's he's got all these lovely images of her. She's so pretty in his head. Nothing happened. You better do it soon, boy. A oh, homework. Oh man, so is this art gonna be... You know, he's gotta let her know. He needs to confess to her. Wait! He... Wait, is, did he learn this on the alien planet? When, when did he have psychic powers? Because when he, with the aliens, oh, never mind. Hey, Josuke looking dude. I forgot everyone's names. I'm so sorry. He's asking for advice. Experience? Uh, what's that? <laughs> Speaking of JoJo, I need to watch part 6, part 3 is out. The third part of part 6 is out. <laughs> Final part. The White Poison. Let's see the muscles! The muscles! Got 
out a little bit. Or a good luck. You know, you're going to need it. Kinniku. I expect them to all like break out in like, you know, showing off their abs. <laughs> yes. Yeah, you show the girl. <laughs> See, look at that. All right. All right. One by... Oh, shoot, that scared me, his face. Golda, is his name Golda? Hey, you guys were there too? <laughs> is anyone gonna ask the dude about going to Alien World or not? Ah, oh, if anyone's gonna have advice, he looks like he could. Like, he's so flashy. They're all so normal. I'm just kidding. Oh. Uh oh, rival. <laughs> hey, she's right there. Oh, they all know. They're like, we support you. I was just always wondering if she ever liked Mob, but... Change your hairstyle? But, but the, that mushroom head is him. Or technically he has like a bowl kind of haircut. Senpai ganbate. Uh-oh. Chicky, chicky, I babble you. You are not worthy to go out with the Tsubomi chan. Oh, I have absolutely no interest in you. God damn! What? <laughs> oh my god, these people, like sports. She don't even know most of them. Damn. Hey, he looked like from Slam Dunk. She gotta like pass each one like with a sign and like sorry, not interest, not interest. Like something to make it easy to like reject them all. Mob, you gotta find some spe Hey, it's me Mezato? Mezase? Mezato? Wait, is she in her second year? I thought they're third years. Oh my god, did I mess up everyone's age? She's behind the school. Yeah, she's- You're way too late, Mom! All those people are lining up! But- But Mom's gotta be unique. I know, right? If- Oh my god, that would crush his poor little heart. What you gonna do, Mob? Mezato san. No. Kind of guys. I mean, it depends on the girl. You know, everyone has their own type. But yeah, you should be a gentleman. Mind your manners. Okay. But I think Mob is pretty considerate. They're both uh, pretty nice. It's like the two main things. You're pretty, you're smart, and you're nice. No interest in other people. Mm, maybe she, like everyone is not even looking at her feelings. They're all just like, wow, she's pretty. Now you think of it, she might have some family issues. That's why she's moving away. Like, why is she moving? What do you like about her? 
Now that's a good question. Childhood memories? You can go there, you can go here. Mm. Ah, Mabukun. Dang, the hard truth. Oh, that's kind of sad. Maybe on TV or something? Nobody? Oh yeah, he's older too. I hope Serizawa finds a nice girl to marry. Regan's just like, oh, I'm just gonna like go with that as well. That's true. They're so cute with the little blush on their cheeks. Mm, so she knows the secret. Oh, she's bored of it, but magic is so cool. It's destiny. I just knew when I saw her. Opposites attract. Fresh and clean, sincere and faithful, fashionable, good listener. It's some pretty solid advice. What? What? You? I, I thought. Mm, just be yourself, your true self. Yeah, you don't put your feelings into words. Hmm. It's random, but I didn't know there were pigeons in Japan. I thought they was all crows. Yeah, I was like, that's some pretty nice advice. I'm sure he read some off the website, but still, you know, it's what the kid needs. Yeah, if they found out what you really were, rejected. Popular with the older ladies, because he's a nice talker, you know, sweet talk. Yeah, Mob is still young. He should just go straight. I want him to stay wholesome forever. Maybe that's too much to ask, but can you imagine a rebellious mob? <laughs> Oh, he has faith. His ears look kind of... Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> the Chad look. <laughs> and then, like, the crazy look at the end. I don't know. Hey, Hanazawa... Teru? Ki? Hanazawa-kun. Yeah, give us your advice. Does everyone already know that Mob likes her, though? I say it's pretty scary. Oh, yeah, because he's popular. I forget, because he's always just fighting the bad guys. I mean, a like in power level. Don't give Mob some false hope. But I all, I still think Tsubomi kind of likes him. Because didn't he save her a few episodes back? They were like outside doing something near the school. A gift, eh? Just don't get clothing, okay? <laughs> oh, letters and homemade cookies. Onigiri. 
Uh oh. I was thinking fruits basket with the onigiris. <laughs> you know, if someone really likes you, they don't care what you give them. Flowers are kind of expensive though, aren't they? Oh, hell no. Hell no. Last time was enough, okay? Luckily, you know, Dimple, bless him, was like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wait, last time was it? No, it wasn't Hanazawa with the clothing. It was the other dude, wasn't it? Haru? Um, yes. Oh, snap. I do remember she said this um, a while back. But maybe she's lying. Like, she don't want to say it's from her school. So she just made up. Yeah, look at her little brother worried about Onichan. Like just if if you do get rejected, I have no idea the outcome. Just don't I don't know, get so depressed. Like don't go a hundred percent. We're just worried about your Mental state. Hey, one punch! One punch! Oh my god, he's calling her with the general. Okay, the call has been placed. Oh, okay, he called her house. Yeah, makes sense. If they're childhood friends, maybe, you know, he has a house number. <gasps> Mom's gonna listen in. Oh my god, I said it out loud. <laughs> Is the mom gonna like follow behind, eavesdrop? Like, why would he be calling Tsubomi? I mean, he's a little nervous, but overall, you know, he's still managing to talk. I thought he'd be like, uh, 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 like stuttering and like not able to say anything. Let's go near the park. Hey, Ritsu, don't get so worried. He's got this. Me too, me too. <laughs> uh, praying for you, mom. Hey, he did a pretty good job. Like, if it was me in middle school, like, I, I could never. So I'm proud of him. Like, if you think about it, Mob has grown a lot since, like, the first season. He made a lot of friends, and uh, he joined the muscle group to buff up. The... <laughs> yeah, I was like, I don't care. I mean, Tsubame is cool, but, like, just... I just want a girl, any girl. Introduce me to the friend. <laughs> yeah, and he's like, it's calm, you know? He's able to still study, focus, and just have a nice school life. Like, it was me, he'd be like too nervous to even think. Look at Mob! Look at him playing sports. He's, you know, growing out to be a pretty cool middle schooler. Got his money. What you buying? Some flowers. Assorted bouquet, please.
Oh, I, I don't know. I feel so proud of him. Hey, that dude used to, yeah, a psychic. Oh, look at everyone supporting him. Man, you need some sleep, man. You deserve it, mom. You, did I say mom? <laughs> you deserve it, mom. You're the best. Well, I love this music. I love the atmosphere. It's so happy. This music. How could the sky looks kind of dark? Uh oh. Something bad gonna happen. You know. Obviously, you can't just confess that it'd be so happy. <gasps> okay. Nice, nice. Okay, the kid didn't pay attention. Okay, something's gonna happen with the kid. Oh my god, it's flipping truck coon. Kid's gonna get isekai into a different world. Mob powers? And what is this, like, electronic music? Like, it sounds like something playing the music on a calculator. What the heck? That's a huge crap. Oh! Oh my god! Oh my god! Th th my poor baby! Oh! 911 emergency! Wait. What? What? Holy crap! I'm... Nani? Not mob! I mean, I don't think he's gonna die, but... Okay, I, I had... I'm just wondering if, like, you know, he's going to the hospital and then he's gonna have, like, an internal subconscious talk with himself. And Tsubomi would be there when he wakes up. I don't know, there's a, another anime called Baby and Me, where like something like this happened, but like th that's like off topic. I just can't believe they pulled the isekai with the truck coon. You know, Mom was having a great day. He just bought some flowers. He's like having, you know, he's doing well in school. He's studying, he's talking with friends. He's asking everyone for their advice. He has a good relationship with classmates, friends, and his uh, boss, his employer. Yeah, but there, it's not really an employer. It's, yeah, uh, complicated. Not really. A simple friend relationship. He just helps out Reagan. Anyways, um, you know, he's going towards the thing. Like, the moment there was, like, a shadow behind him, I was like, what the heck is this, like, look? Because, like, the sun behind him kind of makes a shadow. Okay, okay, okay. We need the... Okay, next, next, next. Oh, my gosh. Rival? Yeah, and then, like, he, he, uh, uses powers to save a cat, but he jumps out of his way to save a person. Damn, what a dude, Mob. Like, I... <laughs> like, once this music started playing, I was like, what? Like, it's that, also that angle, too, and the guy sleeping. Like, the moment you're yawning. <sighs> yeah. That DS, rest in peace. But Mob, man. Is Mob gonna be okay? I can't even believe this happened. Like, you know, you think psychic powers, like, I didn't even think this kind of thing would happen here. Damn, and all the that blood. Rival. Hurry, somebody call 119. Hurry, call. Call police. Call ambulance. What are you doing? Hurry and call. 
I know, probably the shock, but I'm more worried about mob. Kid, I blame you. Is Tsubomi nearby? Wait, is the... Uh oh, is mob gonna explode? Y'all better get away. I don't know what's about to happen. Holy, holy smokes, what? Uh, uh, oh. Uh, uh, oh. Uh, uh, oh. Uh, uh, oh. I realized I'm going to let. Oh my goodness, what if Mob, when he's conscious, he subconsciously holds back some devil's or like psychic powers, but the moment he's, I don't know, knocked out, nothing can hold it back. I mean, when he's sleeping, it's a little different because like he's REM, he could wake up anytime, but when you're unconscious, you can't wake up right away. He lost a lot of blood, it's like a small little pool. Here we go. What? <laughs> Burn! Man, uh, everything was going just so well for Mom. I, I keep repeating that because I'm just like, kind of like, what the heck just happened last episode? I didn't think like, this kind of thing would happen because I'm just like, oh, it's like psychics. We're just dealing with monsters. But, you know, actually it's a slice of life of uh, mobs, you know, growing up and everything. Ah! Oh my god, that iPad cover. Like, all them kids have that same iPad cover in case it breaks. It's gonna crack. It's like, you know, Jurassic Park when monsters come. And see, look, crows! That's what I want. gonna be late oh my god earthquake tsunamis oh. yeah at first i thought mob was trying to call the police like this is mob's doing or something oh shoot Oh man, is Reagan saved the day or like what? Yeah, because Japan has so many earthquakes that they usually like reading the um, tectonic plates and everything to prepare for the earthquakes. Yeah, but they're like, we have no idea what's going on. No one, no psychic can sense that mob is a. Shigeo Kun was gonna ask the girl. I think I missed a section. Uh oh, bad luck, super bad luck. Suspect is, uh, is this? Oh my God. Mob is the suspect. My God, this is not even, like I didn't expect it to happen. I didn't even expect like this part. This is like a horror situation now. Like, what did Mob become? Ooh, don't give me bugs. <laughs> okay, new hairstyle right there. <laughs> I do not want that coming towards me. Is this mob or is this like, you know, like a side of mob that's never come out before? Yeah, Hanazawa, you need to help. It in time. Maybe it's the thing he first fought when he first met mob, when mob like went crazy. 
Because Hanazawa is not too scared, so... Okay, never mind. Take it back, take it back! Yeah, I remember Hanazawa with like, you know, the longer hair. <laughs> you know, crazy animation. Yeah, it's like the thing deep inside Mob that he can't control. Oh my god. Man, if you don't fight back, you're going to get killed. Oh my god, a tree! All right, I saw some swiftness in animation. Gotta restrain you. Ooh, a golden rope scarf. I feel like Mob isn't even at 100%. He's... A thousand, I don't know. He's loose. Just as close, right? For a second, I got Chainsaw Man flashbacks and I thought, <laughs> no more. My rival. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. Mm, so is this like the last hurdle for Mob to overcome? Oh no, not the flowers. We need to get Tsubomi here. Oh my god, you did not destroy the flowers. He protected it. Yeah. Holy shit. Oh, oh my god. How are you alive? Oh my gosh. Tsumomi, Reagan, D2. What are we going to do? 
Oh my god, and he's got this like red aura on top of the dark shadow. Why are you still standing there? Run! Maybe it's just subconsciously doing what mob... No, it's going for Hanazawa. I thought it was going to look for Tsubomi or something. Man, there's still people in the background. Run! Evacuate immediately! I don't, don't even go in the shelter. Just get out of here. Oh my god. When Mob finally snaps out of this, he's gonna blame himself so much for all the damages. Oh my god, I read that wrong. I was like, what happened to you this episode? <laughs> I thought that's what it said. Oh my god. Kaboom. What the heck? I don't even know like how to comment. Like how do we stop mob and how Like nothing is getting through the mob. He can barely defend himself, let alone other people. Oh my god. Oh my god, he kind of looked like Naruto right there. Oh my goodness. He's getting torn apart. It's like, you know, the first season when he first got his ass beat by Mob? And he lost all his clothes and hair and whatnot. Yeah. yeah. Yo, that's right. He was crying after he realized he's scared to go 100%. Yeah, and as a friend, he knows how much it's gonna hurt Kageyama. He's gotta stop it. Sasuke! Sorry, that's all I can think of. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god, he's butt naked too. He's in the prime. Let's get him back. Please, mob. Man, he ain't budging. Do you... Oh my god, he's got the bald head again. Imagine what would happen if he didn't hold him back. Oh my god. Gotta shave your head again. What a guy, Hanazawa. What a guy. Oh my god, I think he was holding back. <laughs> rival. Oh my no rival. He's 
saved all the people. What a guy, Kageyama. Oh man, 100% mob don't even... He just walked past and... I thought maybe mob was gonna come back. Damn. Mm, I know. Or like as the owner, you could just eat it. You know, don't like employers give their in all the leftovers to like their workers. What 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 happened to Mob and them? Is Mob on the way to this store? What's going to happen? Okay, Mob's coming. Mob's coming. Oh, smile, Mark. Oh, shoot. Oh, they must be. Oh, wait, he was from the first season, wasn't he? The guy that Reagan was fighting or not? I forgot that guy, but this guy with the glasses. I remember he was wearing a suit before. Yeah, they became like, you know, common workers, but... <laughs> Tongs. Don't end, don't end, don't end. Okay. Ramen. Oh my god, what is Mob is making his way to the park? I, I don't know. I have no idea how. picture of a hey, dude shut up don't even they're gonna get the wrong idea because the helmet semi is supposed to be good so they... oh senpai <laughs> y'all should just leave it down ah the denwa You got the picture? The friend sent it to him. The friend sent it to him. Oh my God, they're bringing in like the military. I'm like first the broccoli and then now mob. It's Reducing your sentence. So they're going in there knowing they might die, but. Oh my God. You say that and you're going to get like blown apart. Like, I just don't want them to explode. Like, you know, certain anime I watched earlier this week. <gasps> oh, it's the daddy. Um, What's his name? Shochan's dad. I, but last time Mob was holding back, so this time you get to see the full power. You can feel his power. God damn this guy.
He can levitate, right? All right, to the side, it's gonna end. Ah, uh, now this is getting interesting. Well, I guess I came back at the right time because this last two episodes, holy cow, oh my goodness. <laughs> Cause like, you know, I, it was all going, to, I'm not sure if this is like the last arc, I know this last season, but will there be more arcs after this one is what I meant to say. Cause like, this seems like it's the big one. Like usually Mob Psycho has about 12-ish episodes, but since it's last season, I'm not sure how long this uh, season will be. And, uh, yeah, we usually end off the season with a big bang. I already thought the Dimpo episodes with the broccoli and the Psycho Helmet Head, like, I thought that was, like, whoa, the big one. And then we have this. And the previous arc was, like, a nice, chill, uh, intermediate. And, but this one, you know, I lo you know, they're about to go into... They're going into high school, right? Not third years? It, unless Subomi is a year younger than him. I swear, I know Mob was second year in like season one one up. I thought he graduated. I, I'm not graduate. I thought he like bumped up into a third year. Maybe I'm like totally wrong. I need to like go back and check how old Mob is. Yeah, because when he was looking at Subomi Chan's room and she's two, three, the two is the grade and three is the name, is the room number. So, hmm. Okay, give me this preview. I need to see this preview. Who's singing this name? Oh, Ritsu. Man, and Mob is watching everything in his head. Damn, that's huge. Oh my god, he might actually kill his brother. I have no idea. And I forgot to change <laughs> to blue. Ah! Let's stop right here. Okay. Arrival. Let's stop here, actually. Oh boy, this episode. Oh, sorry if my house is like kind of loud. I don't know. There's always sounds. There's always neighbors playing their music, their dumb dogs, the birds chirping, the airplanes flying over, the vents just like blowing air and making like ghostly hollow sounds. Anyways, we continue the episode. Truck Kun made an appearance and uh, almost hit almost hit a kid. But you know, you see the difference how Mob treats like cat versus a person. If it's a person, he's going in there to personally stop it himself. I don't know if he knew like the consequences of that, but I don't. I mean, he probably knew, but like he just acted on instinct. He's like, I can't let this kid die, and he just jumped in there and take the blow. Damn. And yeah, he he lost quite a lot of blood. I never even expected, like, whatever happened to happen. I thought, you know, he'd have to go to the hospital and then he'd have some kind of, like, mental, you know, talk with himself or something. And then Tsubomi comes to him. But I guess that's, like, too easy, too happy of an ending. We gotta go in. We gotta continue with a bang. So, like, whoa. The 100% mob got unleashed. I don't know the proper name of it, so I'm just gonna call it the 100%. 100% mob, which we saw a couple times in like the first season, but you know, ever since like Reagan talked to him and he calmed down, we don't really see it as much. Yeah, uh, mob uses his powers a lot, he went 100%, but like you know, after the fight, it always like tones down and then like he's back to himself. So I haven't, haven't seen. I haven't seen the season one like 100% crazy mob appear for a while, and like also when gotta give props to Hanazawa, man. This dude, ever since their first fight with Mob, he learned that he is not like at the top of his world. There's always someone that's gonna be better. And like the whole time he is so calm. Like I thought, oh, he knows Mob is there. It's all good. Like he's constantly talking to Mob like, hey, what's going on? Why are you like doing this? Eh, it's all good. Like, you know, he's he's talking to him very casually. So I'm like thinking, oh, there's nothing wrong. And I'm like, wait, Mob is still in this like state. He's got to bring it. And uh, mostly he's not really fighting back Mob. He's just trying to convince him to snap out of it. Or he's like using barriers or defense. But man, when he got slammed through the tree and then across the whole, maybe like half the town and slam into a building. I'm like, damn, how does he live after this, man? And then after Mob kind of like exploded a bit, like you see him saving all those people. And I'm like, props here. And the only thing he can think of is like, Mob is not the type of person who would do this. Mob would not want this. So he's thinking of how Mob would feel after this over. The first time he ever fought Mob and Mob like, uh, you know, exploded. But when Mob woke up, Mob was crying. He did not 
want this to happen. He was so scared and so sad for what happened. So as a friend and as a rival, I am so proud of like how much Hanazawa has like developed and changed and like he wants to help Mob and he's caring for Mob and that was just a beautiful thing to see. And uh, not to mention, I feel so bad for his hair. Just when he grows it back, like he loses a chunk of his hair again. But the first time, the first time that ever happened was hilarious. Cause he looked like an old man. Cause like he had hair on the side. So he's like an old Einstein looking dude. This time it, it doesn't match. <laughs> it still doesn't match, but like it looks a little better than the first time. <laughs> Once again, props to Hanazawa, great dude. But the next person who wants to try to stop Mob is the boss or Shochan's dad. He seems to have a chance, but you know, the last time he fought Mob, you know, he lost. But um, well, I don't really remember the specifics, but like if right now Mob is stronger than it, well, he was before, I don't know if uh, the boss can do it. Like Tsubomi and or Reagan, I'm not sure what Reagan can do because if uh, Mob doesn't even recognize Hanazawa, I don't know if he's going to recognize Reagan unless Reagan does some like strange trick or like technique that like you know snaps mob out of it because it looks like mob can see everything that's happening like you know the on the outside the 100 percent has awakened but inside mob sees everything that's happening and he's still like i don't really know it's just like he's he, he's just starting to take it in and i feel like he's gonna be so devastated when he snaps out of it yeah, but at least now he has friends to reassure him. You know, he just lost Dimple, so that was one crazy fight. So I didn't know they are going to get into this other crazy fight. Still looking back at Hanazawa. Yeah, great man. And then, not even the boss, but we bring back the people from season one. Like, all the bad guys that we fought, like, now they're trying to stop Mob. But, like, it's like Mob is the bad guy unintentionally. So... It's nice to see these people get brought back. You know, obviously there's no math for Mob because they were no math for Mob when Mob was in his normal state trying to like, I don't want any trouble. Now Mob is like going to unleash. I don't know what Mob is going to unleash, but like they're definitely no match. The boss can probably hold off Mob for a little bit, but we need some more reinforcements. Next episode, is Tsubomi chan going to come? She's like looking from a distance, but I don't know because like I'm scared she gets too close and then Mob like hits her or something, but the thing is, Mob protected the flowers. That's like one thing we know. If he protects the flower, he's sub. He's still kind of there a little bit. Like he knows his goal is probably to meet Tsubomi or something. So, is he going there? Like, what what is like the one hundred percent trying to do? Just destroy everything? Is there a goal? Oh my gosh, I'm just like I did not expect this kind. Of, I was ready for another slice of life, like an easy episode or something. Cause like the previous arc the previous two episodes was just like you know hang, hang out with friends making memories like the meeting aliens oh and then we get to this like what i was just commenting how i loved the previous episode because like i love that music that played when mob was like getting ready to meet Tsubomi on his date like you know he like a very cheerful it felt like something from sailor moon it was just so happy 90s kind of music and then the moment like he's standing in front of the light it felt like the shadow over the sky and then uh, standing next to the kid and then the music kind of changes into some kind of like a uh, simple 16-bit kind of music when i said electronic i meant like the 8-bit 16-bit music i don't know why i said electronic and then i was like oh something is wrong here and then we got this episode which was crazy good i cannot wait for the next one yeah feel free to let me know what did you guys think of the episode totally forgot to wear my blue hair i was yeah, in the middle of the episode, I when like it was going back to the Hanazawa fight, I was like, oh shoot, I remember. I was thinking back to that video, and I was like, oh wait, I had the blue. <laughs> oh well, it's okay. Yeah, it's just all for fun. I just like it to continue. So if someone just watched the playlist, they can just see all blue hair. Anyways, um, yeah, <laughs> that is it for the reaction. Feel free to let me know what you thought about the episode. What do you think is gonna happen? Feel free to let me know. I will be sure to read your comments and see you guys for next reaction. Peace out.